<laughs> good, e good evening, everyone. I am your uh, stand-in host for this evening, Drew Carey. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. I know what you're thinking. Drew, you were on the show last night. The show? Yes. Why did you say show like that? <laughs> well, you see what it is. Although uh, you all know I'm from Cleveland, of course, I'm using the Scottish accent to make you feel more comfortable. <laughs> And I'm also swimming. <laughs> people, <laughs> people say to me, Drew, how did you lose all that weight and get in shape? Very simple, swim. I swim all day. I'm like Michael Phelps in glasses and a suit. <laughs> I know, it's me. You're disappointed. But... It, but isn't this thing awesome? I used it last night and I've grown... I, I actually... Now, Drew Carey and I have been friends for um, 15 years, uh, at least. And I've had this thing for two days and I prefer this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, now, it's not, not that I don't like Drew. I love Drew. He's a good, dear friend of mine. But this thing is awesome! <laughs> look, I mean, you can't take... Look, look, imagine, right... You know how they haven't picked anyone who hosts the Oscars next year? Let's just give it a try, all right? <laughs> Good evening! Welcome to the... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Welcome to the Oscars, everybody! <laughs> nah, that might not work. What, what would he be good for hosting? <laughs> You weren't, were you even awake there? You lost your mind, man. This no, is awesome. Man. I'm telling you, I think this thing is awesome. If we can figure out a way so you can't see me. Like, I know CBS has been working on that for a while. <laughs> if we could just figure out a way so that I can be hidden and then this thing could just do the whole show, it'd be awesome. We could do, what, what I could stand on a box? Wait there. <laughs> Sandy, get off the box. <laughs> There you go. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, let's try it. All right. Oh, hey, hey, hello, cheeky monkeys. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Great day for America. Ah, yeah. Sponsored by Sears. Only Sears has all 10 of the top 10 appliance brands. This is the top 10 advantage. This is Sears. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. everybody. I really hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. <laughs> uh, you wait till I get started. You'll wish that was real. <laughs> Do you see the thing I did when I came out? Did you see what I did? Yeah, well, yeah. What was it then? Yeah, do it You again. didn't see it. <laughs> what I did was I did that showbiz thing. I've been waiting back there. To, I was like waiting, waiting until they're ready. Like, can't wait for the commercials to be over so I can come on out and <laughs> and then when I came came out, I'm not meaning like when I came out. Yeah, I understand. But when I came out there, I pretended to be surprised to see you. I was like, oh, but I knew you were here all along. That's 
trident. I'm a lying bastard. <laughs> but you like that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Extra double creepy tonight. Does it me or do I look like a mortician in this outfit? Yeah, too. I look like I'm kind of like, like, welcome. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. <laughs> of cable, and that's why you're watching the show. See what I did? Where's that laughter coming from? Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody! It is a great day. It is a great day if you're a late night talk show host, which I suppose technically, technically I am. Technically. Technically. Yeah. Technically I'm a late. Although this isn't really like one of the other ones. For example, no band. No band. Uh, well, yeah, but we do we do jokes of a fashion, don't we? Yeah, sure. So we're kind of we're kind of a late night talk show, yeah, sort of. Kind of. People come on and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's a great it's a it's a great day if you're in the late night talk show who you know thing thing this because former Congressman Anthony Weiner is returning to politics. Yes. yes. Which is great. Listen, if you had to do this crap every day, you would love it when you hear a Weiner is running. That's what you look for. <laughs> Weiner running again. That takes balls. You would think because. Then you can say things like, I guess you can't keep a good wiener down, and... Well, I guess you, if you don't know, wiener's the guy that texted his, uh, pictures, uh, you know. He, he texted his pictures of his junk. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he did, he was a... Yeah. Yeah. When is that ever a great idea, by the way? No matter how good and well you know something, you're like, I'll just send that then, will I? Please. It's never a great... Who, how, how, how drunk do you have to be? I'm getting some sand. Ah. <laughs> anyway, now he says he might run for the mayor of New York City. Now, Wiener is a Democrat, but from what I've seen, sometimes he leans to the right. Ah. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's... There's, see, so that's your late night joke. Now, I've got another joke. I've got another yeah, joke. Yeah, do it. Do yeah, I've got a late night joke. Yeah, you ready? Do it, man. All right. <laughs> in Japan, an eight thousand dollar toilet was stolen from a restroom. Police in Japan haven't named a suspect because currently they have nothing to go on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Two jokes. Two jokes. Two jokes. No. Politician, poopy joke, now celebrity joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Star Magazine is reporting that Snooky lost 42 pounds using laxatives. Come on, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, three jokes. I think that's about it. I don't think I'll do any more. Yeah, no, that's, I think, I think three's the max. Three's as many as you want. Well, that's the comedy number, isn't it? Three. Yeah, three. Do you ever, do, you ever watch that in Sesame Street? Three, three's a magic number. <laughs> three, three, one, two, three. <laughs> you know, you, you, if you just dance around and there's no music, it's, uh, what is that? Dance like nobody's cares and make love yeah, yeah. as if. Make love as if you're in somebody else's house. I can't remember what it is. Yeah. What is the phrase? It's one of those inspirational things people post on Facebook or something. Don't be so mean. Try and be positive. I'd like to be positive. I want to send out a positive message to the world. <laughs> that was it. I feel bad because I did that. Sorry for your last thing. That was bad. That was, I feel bad. We should probably cut that out. But we can't. And you know why? Because we're live. Ju <laughs> Thanks for your help. No, we're not live. We're not live. Why? Because no late night show is live. Now, I know what you're thinking. You think that other ones are. They're not. <laughs> I'm here to tell you. You know when, the, uh, like, uh, Penn and Teller and that, they did that? Secrets of the Magicians Revealed. All right. Here's Secrets of the Late Night Douchebags Revealed. <laughs> not live!
What's the, uh, what's the other secret, Jeff? Oh, yeah, the sidekick that always agrees with the host, they're not really friends. <laughs> Hey, see that thing? No, that's like that. They hate each other! <laughs> Me and Jeff can't stand each other, right? That's correct, Craig. See? <laughs> oh, and if you ever see a late night show that's got a horse, <laughs> not a real horse. <laughs> well, now that I've ruined Christmas. Hey, man. Hey, why is the horse lit better than you? Uh, that's a, I think that's a union What thing. the hell, man? Yeah. Are you saying the horse is lit better than me? Look at that. What the hell's going on? Wait a minute. You're just trying to sow the seeds of no, dissent. Man. Yeah, you are. You're trying to set me and the horse against each other so that you can rule. <laughs> this, rule this magnificent yeah, kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite an empire. Here. Yeah, it is. Quite an empire we got here. A, <laughs> a curtain. <laughs> Horse, not a real horse. <laughs> Gay robot skeleton. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take over the show, and eight months later, you can take it back. Oh! You used the Drew Carey puppet for that dance there. <laughs> My first guest tonight is an Emmy Award winning actress. She stars in Veep, which second season premieres Sunday night on HBO. Take a look at this. So now we gotta figure out a Well, 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 look at you with your new set. <laughs> ah. No, it's the, they're the same as last time. They're the same. Got they're, they're great, though. Thank Fantastic. You look sensational. Well, th thank you very much. I like this uh, neck thing. Suggestive of a bow tie, but not really a bow tie. Mesh underneath. Nice. <laughs> This isn't what a bow tie looks like. This is, in fact, a collar. <laughs> you know that, right? Uh, yes. I think you meant to say that. No, no, I didn't mean to say it. I know what I want to say, and it's bow tie because it's suggestive of a bow tie. I see. <laughs> what the it's hell? Suggestive of a collar. You're an idiot, by the no, way. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm just an enthusiastic foreigner with a dream. That's all I am. <laughs> I hear you. All right. What's this? There's all this stuff here with you. And I don't know. What is it? Let it's me see. you. It's oh, oh, yes. Let me tell you what this is. Yeah, tell me. Because I know you love France, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay, I, love so I, like, I like a bit of French. Yeah. So, we, my... my <laughs> um, that was rude, what I just said. Was it not? <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, th we were, um, uh, I made a film. It's in the Point des Arts. Yes, exactly. Right, 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 right. I made a film in Paris, and it's a short film that actually is, is uh, it, we did it, and it's on HBO. And uh, it's called Picture Paris. But let me explain something to you that was so extraordinary. So, oh, no, no, just show that. All right, right. So we were at, show this. this so one? it's this, this bridge, you know, and everybody puts locks on it, right, messages, right. and so on and so forth. And my husband wrote this film, and he directed it. And we were shooting this scene, and I sort of, and I just got down and was looking at the locks just right there and look at the lock that I'm holding and oh. they zeroed oh, and wait. I just went straight to that by accident oh. and it's J and B and my husband's name is Brad. <gasps> J and Brad! Oh. Oh. No! Uh, <laughs> what are these? Look! Right here's, here's, what? Um, am I in your movie? Because here I am on that same bridge. <laughs> You don't look happy, though. I'm not happy. I'm Scottish Protestant. We don't do happy. <laughs> Are you a happy person? Are you happy in your real life? Um, yes, I'm happy. I have, I, I get anxieties. 
massage. <laughs> Would you like one? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> No, I think I've decided that I need to get more massages to relieve my anxiety. All right. You should too. Now, I think I'm going to maybe start to learn how to meditate. I tried it once on a plane. It doesn't work. Ugh. No, it's just... Did you get a word and stuff like that? No, I was imagining a cool uh, plinth. Qu'est-ce que c'est plinth? Uh, plinth, you know, like a, a column, uh, a, a sort of pillar, standing oh, alone in a field. Yeah, that's not good for meditating. That's, that's well, like what's, what's a nightmare, it? isn't it? <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a horror film, you know, a plinth in the middle of a field. What? The plinth! <laughs> Will you maybe talk... <laughs> Well, no, I can never, never enjoy the, my plinth meditation again, I'm afraid. No, it's not good. You can't do that. But well, what do you uh, imagine when you're meditating? I try to count. Uh, the, the count from Sesame Street or I count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, one breath. <sighs> two, two. two. <sighs> Relax, three. Uh, all the tension is leaving my body. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, come on. All right. So well. what do you do? You count backwards? Uh, yeah. No, I do a breathing thing, counting to four over and over again. It doesn't work. I, I, I tried it, and, I, and then I just get bored. Yeah. I'm just but bored. But I think you have to meditate past that until it gets interesting. That's what I've heard, but I always get too bored and just stop doing it and go Yeah, somewhere. or I start to, you know, make a list of things I have to do. Like, okay, one, I've got to, you know... I've it got is the count. It. One, one thing I have to do. <laughs> What makes yeah. you anxious, though? Imagine we're in therapy. Are you in therapy? Uh, no, I should be, though. Well, okay, then I'll be your therapist. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So, you imagine the count. <laughs> Is this uh, a sexual fantasy of some sort? I think you should have your license taken away. I don't have a license. <laughs> my anxiety. I'm seeing a doctor without a license. Yeah, Let me tell you something, though, funny. Once I, I was in therapy and I went to, yes, and in the middle of my session, my, my therapist fell asleep. And by the way, I am not, I'm not making that up. I am not making that up. Isn't that a little awkward when they wake up? And I think this is making my palms sweat, just telling you. I can't believe I just said this on National Television. Oh, that's all right. But, in fact, it really did happen, and I didn't know what to do. I was paralyzed. Because I didn't know if I should pretend as if I hadn't noticed, or can wake him up, or pause and let him take a little what rest. What were you telling him? What were you telling him at the point he went to sleep? Was it your thing about counting? Because that was a little boring. <laughs> <coughs> or... Or was it, some, was it something very deeply personal? And I don't have any idea. I'm guessing it wasn't that captivating, but I, I am paying the guy to help me. Uh-oh. See? I knew it. No, I'm getting You're fascinating to me. <laughs> no, you are. I really am. I've actually had quite a rough day today, and I was very excited to see that you were coming. Oh, that's so I nice. really like you very much. Why did you have a rough day? Oh, it was just one of those days I had to go places and talk to jerks about stuff. Oh, dear. Oh. Did you get anything accomplished? No, nothing, nothing. at all. Nothing. No. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, I'm you sorry. know what happened? Actually, I had lunch today with my agent, and, oh. I, and I came away from it feeling all optimistic about my life, and then I realized, wait a minute. That's what they always do. Yeah. They make you feel all optimistic, and then you go away, and then you never hear from them again. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so I've having one of those days. I'm bit. so sorry about That's that. That's all right. Would you like to talk to me about it? I can be your therapist. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> you, you mustn't... No, you know I love you, but you mustn't do your sleep face on television ever again. It was that bad? It was like this, I'll show you. No, yeah. no, no, I'll show you. Oh, you could have a replay. No, no. It's like an aneurysm. I no, had an it just it went a little weird. You went like this. Well, I was trying to, to yeah, put no, it was you really, off. Oh, let's adjust our underwear, why don't we then? I'm sorry, I just saw myself in the thing and I thought I should change. No, you, listen, you look great. Well, I don't know if you're, uh, you, if you're anxious or anything, but you look fine. Are you doing Pilates or something? Because it's working. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing Pilates. <laughs> 
Mock me for my accent, why don't you? Mock me. What happens when you meet an Asian person? You're like, oh, hello, how you doing? I like this crowd. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, that's how I talk to Asian people. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I'm very excited for your film. And for, oh, and Veep as well. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, Veep. That's right. It's that's coming. really good. You can cuss in that show. Like crazy. I know. Like and it's crazy. really funny. And there's cussing. Hey, do you know Armando? Uh, Armando Iannucci? No, I don't know him, but I know he's a Scottish writer. Yeah, that's... Who created the show. Yes. I'm a big fan of his, but I've never met him. Oh. You Unless I have when I was drunk, and then I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'll ask but, uh, him. I'll ask him. <laughs> yeah, no. No, he's a great guy. Yeah. Yes, and I've he, heard. He created the show, and uh, I love working with him, and it's so much fun. And yeah, I get to swear a great deal, which is really fun because I, I, it, in my own life, I like swearing. I don't swear as, as uh, a, a sort of flower in such a wonderfully creative way as I do on the show in real life, but. It's a ball. It's an absolute ball to play this part, and um, and that's the end of that, Doctor. <laughs> we'll be right back for more therapy. talking to Julia about her film in Paris and I forgot to ask you if you like Paris do you I love Paris great now tell me about Veep that's the show <laughs> I go to I like Paris a lot do you go there a lot is that a romantic thing for you and your husband um, it is uh, although the last time we were there we were working but that was really fun but you know my fa a lot of my family's French really yes is that the Louis Dreyfus, oui. Dreyfus. Oui, le Dreyfus. Yeah, I am the Dreyfus. Oui, le Do you do you speak French? Oui. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that's right. That's how you. A little bit, <laughs> uh, not much. <laughs> Only. I do. I don't see. I don't. But sometimes when so I'm asleep. <laughs> So no, then you don't speak. No, I don't speak right, a word. Right, right, right. Okay. No, I do speak a little bit, but I'm 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 not fluent. I wish I was. Um, but uh, my dad was was born there, and I have a lot of family there. And do you know that my grandfather? I who, heard about this. Your grandfather yes, was the. My my grandfather um, flew for the French Resistance, and really, frankly, funded the the uh, Free French uh, Air Fleet during World War II, and flew with De Gaulle. And uh, he just passed away two years ago at the age of 103. If you can what? imagine, That's I sick. swear. No, yeah. look. No. Are they happy? Wait, wait. That he well, I don't away? know. I, we have to ask you. Really, I mean, I we love you and all that, but what the hell were you applauding? Why are you there? applauding? You know, oh, he's dead, or yeah. oh, he lived for a long time. You know what? Oh, oh, well you done. Guys. I, yeah. 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 I mean, he's, he's, That's he is. Rude. Yeah. I mean, he is gone. He can't hear you, or perhaps he can. Mm. I don't know. From behind the plinth. <laughs> Callback. It's a, I know it's a callback, but you're mocking me. It's a mocking callback. No, no, I'm part of the ensemble here. <laughs> Au contraire, Frenchie. <laughs> Ensemble's a French word, you know. Oui, oui. <laughs> anyway, so yes, love France. Do you love it? Yes, I do, actually. I like it a lot. They don't care for me, but I, uh, but I like it there. I like it there how a lot. Do you know, Have you ever been to Scotland? That's near France. I'm from there originally. Listen, let me tell you something. I was in Scotland when I was 18. I got to go back. Yeah, you do. I really do. Because yeah, it's I, great. It, yeah. Do you play golf? No. That's, then it's the place for you. <laughs> Do you have family there? Do you, do you live no, there? No, I talk like this because I'm from Jersey. Yes, I have family there. Of course I have family there. Why are you attacking me? I'm not attacking you. I'm just, I'm angry because I'm attracted to you and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> That's honesty. That's honesty. I appreciate that. It's kind of like, you know, in the schoolyard where uh, little boys would pull little girls' hair, they trying to look, kiss it. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm confused. You know, there was, when, when my uh, son was little and we went to Disneyland and he saw Minnie Mouse for the first time, he just w ran over to the wall and started banging his head on the wall. He, d he was so overcome with adoration for her yeah. that he just... Just started running around in circles and bam, 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 bam. You know, I have to say, if you take him to Scotland, that might work. 
Like, oh, look at that wee American boy over there. He knows how to bang his head against the wall. <laughs> what was, like, when, you, when your husband was courting you, what did he do to get your attention? How did you meet? Um, he actually hired me to be uh, in his... Uh, Private dancer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he hired me for sex, it turns out. No, I'm kidding. Wow. No, 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 no. He had a theater company and he hired me to be in a, a show in the... So he auditioned you then? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> this is quite saucy, really, isn't yeah. it? So he's a, you know, he's a director, he's wearing a tweed jacket, smoking a pipe, and yeah. he's wearing thick glasses, and you start acting and he takes his glasses off and goes, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I know he's not French, but in this, he's yeah, French, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. And, then I, and then I said, oh, I'm in love with you. And then we got married. That's how it worked. <laughs> and so, anyway, we did that. So we worked together, and then we found love, and, you know... Uh, Wait, you found love, love how? How did it happen? Did you, I mean, did you... mean, you, are you asking me, like... Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, you know, when did you know? At what point? Where, did, is it when he banged his head against the wall, or...? <laughs> Was there a moment where you said, this, this is the one, but you've been happily married for a long time, so yes, you clearly yes. made a decision and went, this is the one for me, this yes. is the one I want. Yes. Uh, was there a moment? Yeah, there were a couple of moments, some of which I will not share. I understand that perfectly. But um, I would say that I knew almost immediately. Really? Yes, it's really the truth. No, nah, I believe you. I yeah. think that that's the way it is. Yeah. Because I, mean, I was married to people and I, uh, you know. People. <laughs> Two, two people, and then now I'm married, and I'm married to a person, but I was married to people before. Yes. And I knew, but before I was like, I shouldn't be doing this. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, no. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, then, but now I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, first night when I saw her, I was like, mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Just from seeing her, or you talked to her? No, I talked to her as well, oh, I obviously. to make sure. That yeah, I was like, uh, uh, where do I put the dollar? No, I wasn't that. <laughs> That was a joke! No, that was no, a no, joke! No, 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 no. no, but that's, that's nice. I didn't audition her, you know. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's very... But then, now your husband, in the film, he has to direct you in the film. Yes. Now, how does that work in a, in a marriage relationship? Because usually, I'm imagining, he doesn't say, go over there and say that and take your hat off. Or maybe he does, you know. <laughs> That's, this is why I failed as a director, by the way. Yeah. This I is my directing have... style. Take your hat off and stand over there. Yeah, I'm not going to be in your film. No, you way. shouldn't be. No. no, you shouldn't. The take your hat off film? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, it was, it was very... Um, take your hat off. That's a good title for a film. Yeah, it is. It's not bad, yeah. yeah. Or you can leave your hat on, which is a good title for a song. song. Yeah. That's right. I love that song. That's a great song. Did you like that movie, The Full Monty? You remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. It was. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it was. It, it, it was. It was great fun because you know we have a, a, a combat, obviously a compatibility and a compatibility, and also we um, had a sense of the tone of the film, so we were sort of you know in cahoots that way. At the same time, I could tell if he was tense and he was trying to mask it, and I think he could with me too. You know, you know, we have I issues. I think that's lovely. Well, for instance, we when we were in France, we had to we. Were, Operating, it was a short film, we're operating on a, a small budget, so we had to sort of steal shots around the city. I've yeah. never done that in France. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, we took the show in France, didn't even tell them we were there. We're like, <laughs> went out. Is that true? Yeah, we did a week of shows from Paris. First of all, how come I wasn't on the show then? Because I would have come to Paris. Why didn't you invite me? I did invite you. You were unavailable. That's a lie. Yes, it is. <laughs> Will you go there again? Will you ask me to come and be a I'll, I'll go there if you'll go. I'll yeah. do it again if you'll do it. Okay. All right, let's go. When? Uh, how's the weekend? Bad. See, this is what happened last night. <laughs> Anyway, so we went, like, we, we had to steal a shot. We went on the, on the Bateau Mouche. Oh, yes. Yes, which is this boat that goes around the city on the The Seine. Boat Mouche. Wait, wait. And so we had to, pr we pretended that we were renewing our vows, um, and which is why we had a couple cameras with us, and uh -huh. we wanted to record it. <gasps> but it was part of the film. Wow. And so the crew sort of k snuck on the, the boat and pretended to be, uh, you know. This is like Argo. It is. It's yeah. like Argo. Does this show air in France? Because I think this they're going to come after me. Yeah, nah, they won't. They'll they be won't? like, ah, they got away with it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs>
Hey, this, oh, sorry. We're out of time. Uh, how do you want to get out of here? Do you want to... Uh, I've got a new one. You can throw frisbees at the horse. Yeah. We could have an awkward pause. Or, I've just thought of this one. Yeah. You could finger my Drew Carey puppet. <laughs> Is there a fourth option? No. Uh, I like awkward pauses. Awkward pause is always the best. I, I mean, as much as I'd love to finger a Drew Carey pause. Yeah, yeah, no, I, no just, just so as you know, it's, no. uh, this is all that it requires you to do. You just get your fingers and moon over. <laughs> all right, let's have an awkward pause. Smell my finger or not, awkward pause? Not. No, yes, you, you call it. Okay, smell my finger, awkward pause. All right. Okay. Here we go. Next guests are making their TV debut. That's, that's a French word. It means TV. <laughs> They're here performing the track Same Old Ground off of the album, uh, this album right here. I'm really good at this, aren't very I? Very good, very good. Please welcome, he's my brother, she's my sister, everybody. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at llstickets.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Uh, I'd just like to give my apologies to Mike Kaplan. We'll have him back on the show soon. So hold on. My apologies to you, Mike. We'll have you back on the show soon. <laughs> You'll have to come back next week. We went, we went too long with Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's, she's lovely, though, isn't she? Yes. Are you attracted to her? Yes. So am I. <laughs> he's a friendly little... He's a friendly little spud, isn't he? He really is, yeah. Wow. You're friendly. I, I can't wait to see your act sometime in the future. <laughs> uh, wh when's Mike going to be on, Mike? Oh, you guys are both called Mike. Maybe you should hang out. <laughs> but your mic is spelt weird. It is. What is it? M-Q-Y? Close. What is it? The other way around. U-Q-Y-M. <laughs> Everybody Google that. Yeah, what? M... M-Y-Q. Yeah. What is that short for? Oh, Michael. M-Y-Q-L. <laughs> I feel... I feel, Jeffrey, I may have been set up. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, if that is your real name... Will, will you come back next week? I think I have to. Contractually? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. I, I think you would have done very well with this audience. I would have loved to. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't do so well with them. You know they applauded when they heard an old man died? 